These are important. Don't use your back, use your legs. Make them do all the work. They're the largest muscle group in the body. Okay, I'm gonna get Ruthie to jump in the toe side position here. She's gonna bend at the knees. She's gonna keep her hips driven forward and she's gonna keep the bar down in a low position. You wanna think as if you've got a broom handle running through your hips. Wherever you point your hips, wherever you're traveling, that's the direction you're gonna go. So if you're in your toe side edge, always concentrate on keeping your hips pointed in the direction that you want to travel. All right, lead hip, lead foot, that's the direction. Also with your shoulders, face your chest, keep your shoulders level and point the middle of your chest in the direction. This keeps you in correct body position, especially when it starts coming to doing your toe side back rolls and your toe side front rolls. Toe side position is a little tricky at first, but once you work on it, it'll be a super efficient edge for you to ride on. All right, here we have Sean Ordinez. See what he's doing? He's keeping his knees bent, his head up, his hips forward, and he's pointing his lead hip in the direction he's going. Now with kiteboarding and twin tips, even directionals, some people have a problem at the beginning with their switch. This is a great little way to cheat and improve your switch body position, especially when it comes time to trying to go up to wind, maximizing your upwind reach. Okay, I'm going to use Ruthie. We're going to pretend that Ruthie's right foot forward is her switch.